everyone, well, it may be the first day of meteorological fall, but it's definitely going to still be feeling like summer today in southern Wisconsin, even warmer than yesterday. Look at all the places that are going to reach the upper 80s. Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Lake Geneva, Janesville, Madison, 87, 88 degrees. Normal for this time of year are high temperatures in the upper 70s. And I think the rest of us are still going to reach the mid-80s for highs. We'll call it a light breeze this afternoon, gusts getting up to around 15 miles per hour. And I do think the cloud cover is going to increase as we go through the day. I've got the mostly sunny icons in there still for the central and eastern portion of the area, because I do think more of the day is going to be mostly sunny before we transition to partly cloudy skies. But notice in the western portion of the area, those partly cloudy icons are in there, because we're going to see the cloud cover increase from west to east across the area. Now, by 7 o'clock this evening, everyone with partly cloudy skies and perhaps even some mostly cloudy skies and spots, but still dry through the evening hours and much of the night. I think the earliest we can start to see some rain push back into the western portion of the area is very late tonight, early tomorrow morning, around 4 a.m. So let's talk about the morning commute for Friday. Want to keep the chance in there for some isolated showers and yes, the possibility for a couple of storms in the western part of the area. But even in and around the Madison area, I think it is going to be a dry morning commute and certainly areas farther to the east. I see the rain chance beginning in the central portion of the area, Madison, Baraboo, maybe Portage in the late morning, around 10 a.m. or so. But notice the better chance of rain still in the western portion of the area, still isolated showers and storms. As we transition into the early afternoon, this is the better chance for the central portion of the area. Notice the rain chance beginning for places like Watertown and Beaver Dam by this point. When we jump ahead to four o'clock though, notice not looking as impressive. So there is a pretty good chance that if you're in Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, it is going to stay dry tomorrow. I'm going to leave it a small chance in case the showers and storms overachieve. But in general, for tomorrow, the rule is going to be more rain to the north and west, less to the south and east with the activity peaking during the late morning and early afternoon hours. Tomorrow is still going to be warm, but maybe a little bit cooler than today, maybe more in the mid 80s versus the upper 80s. I'm still going to keep in the chance there for, for upper 80s, maybe more in the mid 80s just because there's going to be more cloud cover around and some rain around, though certainly not a wet day. And the wind's going back up. We're going to call it breezy with gusts getting back into that 20 to 25 mile per hour range. I think by six o'clock, the rain chance temporarily going away. So early Friday evening plans looking good, looking like it's going to be dry. But late Friday evening into the overnight hours, I do think some new isolated showers and storms will start to pop up ahead of our next cold front.